think it's just a feeling it gives you when you surf a really big, powerful wave. Like it just, it just affects you so much different than a normal size wave. It's just such a freaking rush. The first time I ever surfed chokes uh, was like back in like 1998, I think. And chokes breaks on the outer reefs. So you can't really see what it looks like from the beach. I knew it was bigger than it had been, so I grabbed like the biggest boards I brought and like went out there in a boat, and I was all pumped and. I was so excited, I didn't even like wait to see like a set. It's like, what? Like six foot? Like it's cool. It wasn't six feet, it was like 10 to 12 feet. <laughs> I turned around and I just saw the whole ocean like coming for me and I just went, oh my god. It just got really deep and then like you, you just see it just, fr the thing just spit so hard that I honestly thought I died. I can't believe I stayed on the board. I mean, I was super stoked to win the XXL this year and you know just be recognized in front of all my big wave peers feels amazing there's a few waves um, that I've really been wanting to check out like I've wanted to ride I wanted to go ride Totos Santos for a while that wave looks pretty sick check out that slab R's with Kobe and those boys I find Jaws very exciting I think I love getting barrel I think that's why all of us surf that's like the best thing ever the bigger the barrel like the better the feeling so I think that's what just keeps driving me to push myself and bigger and bigger waves. You just want to magnify that feeling, you know? It's kind of like being deployed to battle. You just never know how it's going to be, and you know it's going to be life-threatening and crazy, but this is like life or death, or like the wave of your life. Like, those are some stakes. <laughs>